In this video, I will let you know what is a message class and how to create a message class. So, the, the T code for creating a message class is AC91. Okay, so we can create. Uh, basically what is a message class message class is a container which contains different types of messages and if you are thinking why this messages are required in our SAP then I would say to make the user understand what is the instruction that the programmer wants to convey or there are certain instruction that the programmer wants to show that this can't be done, this is an error and all these error, information, warning if you want to show in a pop-up screen then we use our messages in our program via SC38 so there are basically 6 message class ok so I will let you know one so suppose message me message 1 ok I am creating a message class giving a short description there are basically 6 message class information message warning message error message about uh, exit okay, then we create on messages I am setting here a local package suppose success message ok I saved it ok it has been saved now go to SC38 create your own custom message class suppose why demo message I guess you all know how to create a program from AC38 so here it is so there are certain steps uh, through which you could show the messages number one is suppose you write message type i i means information ok now the message will come by executing see this is a success message but you have hard coded the messages here only suppose if you don't want to hard coded the message here and you want to show the message using the message class right the message class that we have created just now in the t code is 91 so how will be using it nothing just type here message id give the class name why message one is my class name and write here message then give the message number 00 is the message id see this is the message number this is a unique number ok <coughs> as for success <laughs> 00 is a unique number and give a full stop let's see what happens see in the below there is a pop up success message if I do it I so in the screen it will show me a pop up see success message so it is using the message class that we have created there are many other syntax via which we can create a message class so here I have shown you two syntax one via using a message class another is by hard coding it ok another syntax I could remember is uh, you don't have to use here anything suppose this is my report name ok event which is triggering here is uh, load of program 
Write here message. Give the message number like before S zero zero zero, and in the bracket give the message class name. This is suppose I give it error message. Error me s s a g. Execute. Fine. Saved it. If you wanted to show this message, you don't have to do anything. Suppose for error, what we use? We use a. A means error. This is a s e. These are basically six type. There are certain six types of messages message class. So a x e. These are the uh, symbolic representation of the types of the messages that we want to trigger. Okay. Don't be confused. Here we put the message class name. Okay, let's see what happens. See, this is a stock error message. Message is message one zero zero two. While clicking on execute, it will come out of the program as it is an error message. It won't. Allow you to continue further. Okay. Uh, there is another type of message. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, there is a mistake. I have to do it one. Uh, let's see what happens. See, error message is executed. See the message that I have written. Eh? Error message executed. Another message. The value is. Ampersand. I don't know what is the value. The value is ampersand. Okay. And uh, dynamically, whatever the value of that number will be coming is uh, will be that ampersand is a placeholder of the value that will be coming dynamically. You don't know beforehand, so you can't hard code it. So you just write it there. The value is this. So dynamically, what will be the value? I don't know. It will be showing as a message. Let's see how to deal with this sorts of things. See, I have shown you three types of declaration of a messages. Okay, another declaration is this one, the fourth one, then the final one. Okay, you don't have to do anything here. Message. Okay, write message number. A. It is zero zero two. Suppose it is a success message A zero zero two, and uh, the value is write the message ID. I need to search a bit. Okay, I remember this is a thing. Message use message ID here with see with twenty five. Okay, so the value it will be coming. The value is twenty five. Value is twenty five. 
I just have this message. See, the value is 25. It is coming below. If you want to show it in a pop-up, write your information message and it will show you the message in the screen only as a pop-up. See, the value is 25. Dynamically, it is holding the value 25 on the placeholder of ampersand. So these are basically five syntax that we can use. Thanks, Q.